Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a website using Wix's AI website builder. Now here's the thing, traditional website building can take hours or even days. You're starting with a blank canvas, trying to figure out layouts, choosing colors, writing content, and honestly, it's easy to get stuck in analysis paralysis. But Wix's AI Builder changes all of that. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete professional website that looks like it was designed by an expert, but you'll create it in just minutes using the power of AI. We're going to cover everything from the initial setup all the way to publishing your finished site live on the internet. All right, so let's dive right in. The first thing we need to do is head over to Wix. I'll put a link in the description below, or you can type in buyhassle.com slash Wix. Once you're on the homepage, you'll see a button that says get started. Go ahead and click on that. Now you'll need to create your account. You can either sign up with your email or use your Google account to make things faster. I'm going to use my Google account here, so I'll click on continue with Google and select my account. Perfect. It's going to ask you who are you creating a website for? I'll choose for myself, my business or a friend. Then it's going to go directly into the AI chat website builder. You can start right away and click start chat but I'm gonna select setup without chat in case you got to the dashboard and I'm gonna show you how to get the AI chat option. I'll just skip the next question to go straight to the dashboard and here it is, your Wix dashboard. Now you have a few options for creating a website including creating from a template or with AI. Click on my site at the top right corner, then click create new site. It'll take you directly to the AI website builder which might be labeled as create with AI or bring your ideas to life with AI. Now, alternatively, you could click Setup without chat, which will get you to the dashboard. And from there, you can click Design Site at the top, right if you wish to create your website from a template. Before we continue, let me quickly explain the difference. With templates, you're choosing from pre-made designs and then customizing them. With AI, you're having a conversation about what you want and the AI creates something completely custom for you. It's much more personalized and honestly, a lot more fun. So we are going to click on Star Chat. All right, so now we're in the AI chat interface. You'll see a message that says something like, hi, let's get started with your site setup. This is where the magic happens. We're literally going to have a conversation with AI about what we want our website to look like. First, it asks what my website is about, so I'll type, I'm building a website for my business called Creative Studio, a creative agency that helps small businesses with branding and web design. Then hit enter or click on the blue arrow to get to the next question. Now it wants to know what my website's goal is. I'm going to say, we create custom brand identities and websites that help small businesses stand out from their competition and attract more customers. The AI will keep asking follow-up questions like, what can people expect from your services? or where is your business located, answer these as thoroughly as you can. You might also get questions about your target audience or specific goals for the website. Just answer naturally, like you're talking to a friend who's helping you plan your website. And as you can see, as I answer more and more questions, it starts creating the site profile by analyzing my answers. And you can also skip questions or ask for help with answers. Now here's a pro tip, the more specific you are, the better your results will be. Don't just say business website, tell it exactly what you do, who you serve and what makes you unique. The AI uses all of this information to create something that actually fits your needs. Once you finish the chat, the AI will start generating your website. Click on go to dashboard to see the generated site. While it's working, you'll see a site profile section where you can add more details. First, click on site profile to view and change your site's basic info. Make sure your business name is exactly how you want it to appear on your website. For the description, this is what will show up in search engines and when people share your site on social media, so make it compelling. I'm writing creative studio professional branding and web design services that help small businesses grow and succeed online. Now, if you already have a logo, this is where you'll upload it. Click on add logo and select your file. If you don't have a logo yet, don't worry, you can always add one later or you can quickly create one using Canva or another design tool. For now, I'm going to upload the logo I prepared earlier and there we go, it's automatically added to our site profile. 
scroll down and you'll see sections for contact information and social media links. Fill these out completely because the AI will use this information to populate your website automatically. For social links, make sure you include the full URL. So instead of just creative studio, you'd put instagram.com slash creative studio. This ensures the links work properly when the AI builds your site. Now click on apply changes. Give it a few moments to apply them. Next, click on site structure. All right, so now the AI is showing us the site structure it's planning to create. You'll see options like homepage, about, services, contact, and maybe portfolio or blog, depending on what you told it about your business. You can add or remove pages here by clicking the checkboxes. Make sure all the pages you want to keep are checked and uncheck what you don't want. Then click apply changes. Next up, you'll see theme options. You can talk to the AI and tell it what changes you want to make to the colors and font. You also have the options to generate a new theme or shuffle the colors. For example, I want to add an orange accent, so I'll type make it orange. And as you can see, it added beautiful orange accents. Okay, this is exciting. The AI has finished generating our website. Let's take a look at what it created. This is actually really impressive for something that was created in just a few minutes. The layout looks professional, the colors are working well together, and it's already populated with relevant content based on our conversation. Of course, we'll want to customize the text and images, but this is a fantastic starting point. Now, if there's something you don't like about the initial design, you have a few options. You can click on tweak design to make small adjustments, or if you want something completely different, you can click regenerate design to have the AI create a totally new version. I'm pretty happy with what it created, but I want to adjust the color scheme slightly. I'm going to click tweak design and then adjust the accent color to be a bit more vibrant. There we go, that orange is much more eye-catching now. Here's the difference between tweaking and regenerating. Tweaking keeps the same basic structure but lets you adjust colors, fonts and layout elements. Regenerating starts completely over with a new design. If you're mostly happy with what you see, stick with tweaking. If you feel like the overall style is wrong for your brand, then regenerate. For our creative studio, the tweaks are perfect. All right, now let's click continue with this design to move into the actual editor where we can customize everything. Welcome to the Wix editor. This might look a bit overwhelming at first, but it's actually really intuitive once you understand the basics. On the left side, you have your pages and elements. In the center, you see your website as visitors will see it. And when you click on any element, you'll see editing options appear. The great thing about Wix is that everything is visual. You can see your changes happening in real time. Let's start by customizing the main headline. I'm going to click on the headline text and you'll see it gets highlighted with a blue border. Now I can double click to edit the text directly. I'm changing this to bringing your brand vision to life. That feels more personal and engaging. For the subheading, I'll click on that and change it to we create stunning brand identities and websites that help your business stand out and grow. Much better. And what if we want to add something that wasn't included in the original AI design? Easy. On the left sidebar, click the plus icon to add elements. You'll see options for text, images, buttons, galleries, forms, and tons more. Let's say I want to add a testimonial section. I'll scroll down to where I want it. Click the plus icon. Then go to text and select testimonials. Now, as you can see, there is no testimonials option, but don't worry. Some elements need an app to be installed first on your website to be able to use them. Simply in the search bar, type testimonials and you'll see the app. Click on open, then add to site and finally agree and add. This one looks perfect. It has space for a quote, client name and photo. Here's something super important that a lot of people forget. We need to check how our site looks on mobile devices. At the top of the editor, you'll see a mobile phone icon. Click on that to switch to mobile view. As you can see, Wix automatically optimizes everything for mobile, but we should still review it to make sure it looks good. The text is readable, the images are properly sized, and the buttons are easy to tap. Perfect. If something doesn't look right, you can adjust it specifically for mobile without affecting the desktop version. Just make your changes while in mobile view. Now that our design is looking great, let's set up a professional domain name. In the top, you'll see a button that says connect domain or get domain. Click on that. You'll have two options. Connect the domain you already own or buy a new one through Wix. 
If you need a new domain, I recommend getting a .com if it's available. Let's say I want creativestudiodesign.com. I'll type that in and check if it's available. Unfortunately, it is not available, which means someone else has it. Or if it's you who purchased it from another domain name provider such as GoDaddy, you can click yes, I own this domain to add it to your website. But as you can see, creativestudiodesign.net is available, which is a good option as well. Click get it, then choose buy domain only and continue. Great, it's available for $14.95 per year. That's pretty standard pricing. Click get it and follow the checkout process. Having your own domain makes your website look much more professional than using a free Wix subdomain. Next, let's make sure people can find your website on Google. Click on settings, then SEO. This is where you'll set up your site's SEO basics for the site title, I'm putting Creative Studio, Professional Branding and Web Design Services. For the meta description, I'll write Transform Your Business with Custom Branding and Web Design. We help small businesses create professional online presence that drives results. These show up in Google search results, so make them compelling and include keywords your potential customers might search for. Now back to the editor, click Design Site at the bottom left. Let's make sure people can easily get in touch with us. I'm going to add a contact form to our contact page. Click on pages in the left sidebar, then select contact. Now I'll click the plus icon to add elements, go to contact and forms and select contact form. I'll choose a simple clean design that matches our site's style. The form automatically includes fields for name, email and message, which is perfect for most businesses. If you want to add more fields like phone number or company name, just click on the form, then edit form to customize it. You can add multiple field types as you can see. Before we go live, let's do a final review of everything. I'm gonna go through each page and make sure all the text is correct, images look good and links work properly. On the home page, headline looks great, images are sharp and the call to action button works. About page, good personal story and professional photos. Portfolio, showcasing our best work, contact page, form is working, and contact info is correct. Actually, I forgot to drag the contact form in an empty space as it is covering the text. I'll click on the form and drag it under the text, much better. Everything looks professional and polished. This is exactly the kind of website that builds trust with potential customers. All right, moment of truth, let's publish this website. In the top right corner, you'll see a publish button. Click on that, you'll see a progress bar as Wix uploads all your files and makes your website live on the internet. And there we go. Your website is now live and accessible to anyone in the world. Click preview at the top right to see your finished website. Look at that, we've gone from nothing to a complete professional website in just about 15 minutes. The site loads quickly, looks great on both desktop and mobile, and has everything a business needs to establish a professional online presence. This is the power of AI-assisted web design. We started with just an idea, had a conversation with AI about what we wanted, and ended up with a complete professional website that's live on the internet with its own custom domain. If this tutorial helped you create your own website, I'd love to hear about it. Drop a comment below and let me know what kind of website you built and how the AI process worked for you. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps other people discover these tutorials. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I'm constantly creating new tutorials on building websites, growing online businesses and using AI tools to work smarter, not harder.